for humidity. There's a cold front. Uh, how what? cool it makes our temperatures feel. <laughs> uh, not going to be a lot, but it's that humidity, the heat index values that's going to be impacted. So in your three things to know, it is still going to be hot, so don't get too excited. But our humidity is dropping Thursday. The cold front moving through Wednesday into Thursday. So we still have an opportunity for rain until that front arrives behind the front. We drag conditions out, so our rain chances are also going to go down as our humidity goes down. But here's the biggest impact from that front. It is going to be our heat index values. So temperatures not going to change much. We're going to stay in the mid to low 90s all week long, maybe even warming up a tad once that front moves through. But look at this heat index drop 104. Your feels like temperature on Wednesday before the front 92 for your feels like temperature that matches the air temperature by the way behind the front on Thursday. So that's going to be the biggest change is how the air is going to feel because we're going to be dealing with drier air moving in. So for the weekend, I'm really looking forward to the weekend more so than normal because it's going to feel so pleasant, right? Saturday, we're talking a high of 94 degrees, but I'm looking forward to the low humidity, plenty of sunshine, and there's going to be a north northwest breeze, which makes it feel really nice here in South Texas. Low temperatures, by by the way, look at those 70, 71. We've been riding closer to 80 for a low temperature, so we've got some cooler early starts to the day to look forward to. It will be a little humid as we turn to Sunday, but we still have that northeast wind. So here's how you're going to see the front. It's going to deal with our available moisture in the atmosphere. So as I mentioned today, tomorrow and into Wednesday, we still have moisture. We still have a chance for some of those spotty showers that we've been dealing with. But once this front passes through in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere, we get northerly winds coming in. So we have northerly wind playing a role in how our air is going to feel. This is Thursday at 8 10 a.m. We get a cutoff low that's going to kind of hang out over Oklahoma, Arkansas as we head into Thursday, and that's going to keep bringing in that dry air. Look at this color chart, right? Red, purple, orange. That's dry. Green is our moist air, the air that provides the rain and the high humidity, right? We are without that Friday into Saturday and even into Sunday. We do have the tropics to talk about. We'll break that down coming up. Yes, there is a potential tropical storm or hurricane headed for the Gulf of Mexico. We'll break down everything you need to know for the tropical forecast coming up during the next half hour. But right now, look at these spotty showers. We do have a few of those to watch out for as you're headed out the door this morning. But mostly we're going to deal with partly cloudy skies today. Hot and humid conditions as usual. Heat index around 103 there at 1 p.m. As I mentioned, spotty showers mostly along the coast through lunchtime. Then it shifts inland into the afternoon. High temperature 94 Corpus Christi, 92 Alice, 94 George West there around 3 p.m. <laughs> Who sees those hit and miss showers may allow for temperatures to fall just a tad, at least briefly, but overall we're, we're dealing with temperatures in the mid 90s. For our first full week of fall, our normal high for this time of year is 90 and we're running above that. Barbie.